gosh, it's so dark in here. Oh my goodness. I wonder where I am. You know, I got a tour of the church when I first arrived, but I can't remember what this room is. Do you hear that weird buzzing noise? Where am I? You know what? I think I'm lost. Huh. I'm not even sure I can get out of here. I don't know where I am. This is going to be the shortest Faith Trek virtual lesson on history because I don't even know where I am. I'm lost. Have you ever been lost? Have you ever been afraid? Heard weird noises and not sure what they were? And wondered how you were even going to find your way out? Oh my goodness. I need you to think about that while I try and figure out how to get out of here. You think about where you've been lost. Maybe how you found your way out. And if you have any advice, you could comment and tell me. Okay, fingers crossed. You think about being lost and I'm trying to find my way out. See you in a minute. The Word of God. Ezekiel, chapter 34, verses 11 through 16, and 20 through 24. God the Master says, From now on, I myself am the shepherd. I'm going looking for them. As shepherds go after their flocks when they get scattered, I'm going after my sheep. I'll rescue them from all the places they've been scattered to in the storms. I'll bring them back from foreign peoples, gather them from foreign countries, and bring them back to their home country. I'll feed them on the mountains of Israel, graze at leisure, feed in the rich pastures on the mountains of Israel. And I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep. I myself will make sure they get plenty of rest. I'll go after the lost. I'll collect the strays, I'll doctor the injured, I'll build up the weak ones and oversee the strong ones so they're not exploited. Therefore, God the Master says, I myself am stepping in and making things right between the plump sheep and the skinny sheep. Because you forced your way with shoulder and rump and butted at all the weaker animals with your horns till you scattered them all over the hills, I'll come in and save my dear flock. No longer let them be pushed around. I'll step in and set things right between one sheep and another. I'll appoint one shepherd over them all, my servant David. He'll feed them. He'll be their shepherd. And I, God, will be their God. My servant David will be their prince. I, God, have spoken. Things that make you think. Oh my gosh, I finally got out of the room with all the buzzy sounds where it was super dark. It's still pretty dark in here and I'm not exactly 100% sure where I am yet. Have you had time to think about where you were lost? And did you listen to that scripture about God and how God promises to find us when we're lost? That kind of gives me some hope that maybe someday I'll find my way out. When you were thinking about the times that you were lost, was there somebody that helped you? Maybe a parent or somebody that you trust? A teacher, grandparent? Did they help you? In the story that we read, God says that God will take care of us, that God will find us when we're lost. He will take care of us when we're sick and make sure that we all share in things equally. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe God will help me find my way out of here. Just like sometimes maybe God helps you find your way out when you're lost. Can you think about any times in your life when God has helped you? Maybe you could talk to your parents if they're watching this with you and you could talk about the ways that God has helped all of you when you felt lost. 
i'm going to keep trying to find my way out of here i'll see where i end up next have a good conversation if you need to pause the video go ahead think about how has god helped you when you've been lost fingers crossed that i find my way out of this oh i think i'm beginning to know where i am i got out of that other room and now i'm here and it's brighter and it's lighter and i see books around me do you see the books that are near me too i think i know where i am i think i'm in the library at the church oh i feel so much better knowing where i am and that i'm not lost that maybe i'll so close to where I want to be. Have you ever felt relief after you were scared or maybe relief when you were found, when you were lost and how good that felt? Do you know, when we're really scared or we're lost, we can turn to God and God can help us. God can help us find our way out or find some peace. God can help us think about different ways to solve our problems. And even if we can't do any of those things, God just reminds us that we're not alone. The scariest thing about being lost was I was all by myself and I didn't know what I was gonna do. When you feel like that, you can remind yourself that God is with you. And so you can pray, you can trust in God, you can read the Bible, you can talk to other people about God and God can help you find a way when you're lost, when you're scared, when you're frightened so that you don't feel quite so scared and quite so unsure about what to do. Remember that God is always with us and we're not alone. Maybe you might want to pause the video and think about the ways that God helps us when we're not alone. But before that, why don't we say a prayer together just to remind ourselves. Let's pray. Dear God, when I'm really scared or frightened, when I'm lost or alone, please help me remember that you are there, that I can always trust in you, that you love me no matter what, and I'm never alone because you're there. Thank you, God. Amen. Let's take a minute and think about all the ways that God loves us and takes care of us. Exploring the Word in the world. Look, here I am. And it's so light and bright, I don't even need my flashlight. I'm where I wanted to be all along. I'm here in the sanctuary. And the sunlight's coming in, and I can see the pretty windows. And I know I'm safe. And I know I'm here with God. Do you ever think about how it's good to feel safe when you're with God? and all of the times when you know God's there. I know that God's here in the sanctuary, but God's everywhere. God's with you right now when you're watching this video. God's with your parents, God's with you at school, God is everywhere. And because now we know that God is everywhere, we can trust in God. Do you ever think about the fact that when you are lost and frightened and you're scared, and you find some hope and some trust in God that maybe other people need to be helped too? Have you ever looked at your friends or even your teachers or your parents and thought, hmm, I wonder if they're scared or if they're lost? Have you ever even thought about that, that adults get scared too? <laughs> I get scared all the time. And just like you, I trust in God to help me when I'm scared. But you have a secret weapon. Once you know that you can trust in God and you don't need to be afraid, you can teach others about God. You can help them. And you know what? Even if you don't tell them about God or maybe they don't want to hear about God, you can help them. If you see someone who looks lost, who looks frightened, you can help them because that's one of the things that we do. We take care of each other. We make sure that nobody feels lost. When we know about God's love, it's such a good thing that we want to share it. And so we can share it by helping others find their way. 
by making sure that nobody's frightened, nobody's lonely, nobody feels like they're lost. So I want you to go out into the world and I want you to look around you and think about people that might be lost. Now you always need to be safe, especially right now in COVID. So don't just walk up to total strangers and ask them if they're lost, but start with the people you know. When you look around you in the world at your friends at school, does anyone look really sad or really alone? Could you talk to them? Could you ask them if they're okay? If your teacher looks like they need some help, could you ask them if they need any, if, you, if they need help, if there's anything you can do? Maybe your parents need help. Maybe sometimes they just need a hug or to know it's okay, and you can give them that. That's a way that you can make a difference in the world around you by sharing your love, the same love that you get from God. So go out into the world and be an explorer, like me with my explorer hat on, and explore all the ways that you can share God's love in the world around you. And just like my flashlight, you can bring light to people's lives. I hope you have a really great week. Let's talk again soon. Bye.